Hi, this is John Brunel of Agile Off-Road. This is a step-by-step -step instruction video for the Mercedes-Benz 2500 four-wheel drive ride improvement package. You don't want to measure the fender wells because they're at different heights in the vehicle. So if you measure the pinch well, then you're going to to the floor, then you can tell what the rake of the vehicle is going to be when you're not. And, and you see where it is when you start. So it's 15 and 5 eighths. <laughs> and it is 16 and 7 eighths. You have taller jack stand. You could put the jack stand here as well if you want, but we just do it here to get it out of the way. Pull the cover off, take the tool kit out. That's your top strut mount. We're going to be removing that nut. It's a 20, 24 millimeter nut. The driver's side to access the top of the strut, you have to remove this matting, which is a T25 Torx screw for this trim piece. This mat just pulls out. It's a separate piece on either side. And I remove that and there's the top of the strut on the driver's side. Washer, I'll set it aside. This plate's the upper strut bushing. That does not have to be removed. Since the suspension's hanging when you take it off the strut, we'll sometimes do that, go down, but it can't fall out. It's still attached at the base. You want to scribe the strut where it's at so that when you take it out, you can put it back in the same exact spot. That way it doesn't mess up your alignment. Not me for a row, And you guys do you guys do me that. You can. Well, that's like what he's doing there. So You also want to take out the ABS sensor because the arm will drop and you don't want to tear this sensor, this line, so you just let it slack. Just like that. Next, you want to pull the fender wells out. Set them aside. You got little clips that hold in the fender well on this side. You want to pop out. And you got these 10 millimeter plastic nuts that you want to unscrew. You want to pop these two off because you're going to end up cutting. Just like that. Or 
we're gonna do. We're gonna place our bracket up in here. I'm gonna hold this nut plate on top inside the engine compartment. Then he's gonna through bolt it and sandwich it through the sheet metal. I'll do that. This one can be a pain. There we go. Oh, there's a nice shot. Shock mount is in. Just like that. Not this way. This way. Because it's going to shift back. And you also want to lock tight everything you take off. You can use your original factory bolts to put these back in. This is the lower shock mount bracket. Cool. This will go up to the bottom. There we go. Start everything loose. Take a take a heel bar in there, and I have to push it over. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Tighten this up so this doesn't spin. This is going to be a 15 and a 17. The original bolts that you took out are all 16s. This is an 18. Ah! 
Yeah. Just kick a little. Yeah. Set the spring on. Yeah. This is RV. Set this top oh, on. Is it? Yeah. Now the plate. Put this in, it kind of pushes it out. They need to have a vacuum. You want to knock off these tabs. That'll work out. Yeah. Yeah. Punch them out and they'll, they'll break off.
because water gets in there and it's rust. Rust the hub. Rust it. It's not indexing on the studs, it's indexing on this part here. So right now, that doesn't move. It's perfect. So a lot of people are concerned about wheel studs, or uh, wheel spacers. Got it. Loctite all the wheel studs. <laughs> And thread it in first. Jay-Z, we, we need to be able to give uh, the customer uh, an idea mm -hmm. of how they do it. So, in other words, we would tighten it down, we bottom it out, and we just want to be able to give it a couple like, turns. Like tight, tight like that. There's not really a torque spec on right. it, Scott. So it just needs to be seated till tight. So you want to hand thread them all the way in first and then tighten them up with the ratchet. Yeah, tighten them up just, just till seated. Right. I think would be the, the correct term we'd want to use. Just until they're seated. Okay, so now we're sandwiches at the other place down by. Oh, we get pizza. Oh, we just had pizza. But a Chicago pizza was pretty damn good. All right. Down about 60 cities. Yeah. 60 cities. 60 cities. I was like, 27-year-old daughter. I'm like, what? That's why I said. What are you, were you, you 12 when you are at her? Take a barrel sander. It's like this, and all the others look like this. And knock off that corner. And I'm just sitting on my ass. What do you do? Yeah, Bob says giraffes stay loud. Busy. I've rolled tacos. All right, I'll clamp this back in here. So somebody is saying, yeah, sometimes if you go out your, your secrets, like Dave was saying, those, sometimes we tell people like, you have to. We unbolt the brake lines, the parking brake cables. I'm just gonna come over the top. So it's just a 10 milliliter socket. I'll just leave it loose like that. That'll enable us to uh, droop it down and won't get pulled on. All right. Next is going to be the sway bar links. Take the bolt out of the back. Hey, hey. Called a ball seat nut. See how it's radius? So there's a radius on this mount underneath here. A lot of people will just put it together with a regular nut. Almost. Not right. Okay, now another U bolt. Now he can lower the jack and we'll separate this block.
that. Save that there. Pull it. sitting on the ground. So it's all neutral, and then you snug them down. Yeah. 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 sits on the ground it's going to try to put load to bushing because it's a vulcanized bushing and it's use the u-bolts so there's a good <laughs> of this brake light, not behind. Just go in hand tight and then you can tighten it up once you get everything connected.
Loctite this bolt. Six inch piece of three eighths fuel line. Just slid it open. Take this rubber grommet here. It's easier if you leave it. Slide it up out of the way. Slip this over here. It's just protection for it for if it rubs. Like that. It's going lay right there. Actually, you could use zip ties if you wanted to. You don't have to use safety wire, but you use safety wire. Boom. Change my mind. This does look good. 